So I've been doing this experiment on myself for three months now, about three months, where I am feeding my gut microbiome and trying not to feed my cravings or my ego. And, you know, I'm not stopping myself from eating those things that maybe I want to eat. Like there are times where chocolate comes into play, but, you know, I am mostly, con you know, considering my gut when I make my choices. I start my day with a specific um, food, which is all vegetables. You know, I just blend up these vegetables and I eat that and it's really, really good for my gut. I can feel the difference in my body. Um, it's been warming up and my body has been feeling like it's time for cleansing. So I've been fasting a lot more. It's been really, really good. What's really interesting is these past few weeks have been a little murky. I've, um, had a lot of shifts inside myself with a lot of my practices, like spiritual practices, meditation and medicine work and things like that. And as a result, I've had like a lot of shifts and needing time to integrate. What's an interesting is watching a lot of my good, healthy self-care practices kind of go down the drain as I've gotten busier. Um, you know, I've had a lot of divine inspiration and a lot of things that I'm getting moving on and it's exciting, but then I get so involved in the doing that I forget to be. And sometimes, you know, sometimes there are things I can't control like classes and um, you know, just timing of things that are being scheduled in such a way that I don't have as much time for self-care because I'm also a homeschooling mom and a wife and all these things where you're trying to do all the things at once. Um, and I've really, though, been good about listening to my gut and just focusing on that. If there's nothing else that I do, I'm doing that. I've been resting when my body says it's time to rest. I haven't been chastising myself for not working out, instead sleeping and, and just enjoying myself. Um, but I have noticed that there are certain other addictions that have gone up, like the addiction to scrolling or on my phone, which sometimes happens when I get busy with work because there's a lot more messages to check. And uh, it's been really playing into my psyche. But by playing with my gut and maintaining that stable base within that myself, that foundation, I have been able to keep myself in really good spirits through all of this. I think that in the past, I would have slipped down the road and gone to eating what would be considered healthy food by most people I know, but it's just not optimal food for my body. There might have been maybe more snacks involved or um, processed foods or store-bought foods. And while they taste good and they might nourish me a little bit, they also feed addiction and craving cycles within my body, which can lead to other emotions and can bring up past behaviors and lots of other things. But I've been like, you know, fasting and doing really well with just balancing myself with lots of vegetables, lots of roughage, not so focused on what I think I should be eating, but what my body is leaning towards and really making good decisions with that. And I've been finding my mood has been good and I've been stable. And even though I go through lows, they're nothing like where I would have been eating other foods. Now, the other day, I wanted to have something to snack on. And so my husband was eating these like snacks that I bought that are, I don't know, some healthy snack that probably caught my eye at the grocery store because it's like a savory snack, you know, some sort of chip-like thing that's not a chip, you know, I don't know, a puff sprout of broccoli or something, I don't know. And he was eating those and, you know, they don't really taste the best they're flavored in a way that make it taste okay but it was so interesting so I go to reach for one because I was like oh that'd be fun let me snack and I was like what is this garbage in me my body could feel the garbage it could just feel like it was like this was disgusting why am I eating this now here's the thing it's because I've been eating so much fresh goodness that my body can no longer eat the processed stuff in the same way. It can taste that difference. And even though this tasted like garbage, I still kept eating it. I found myself still eating it. And that told me a lot about those addictive pattern and food that I talk about. So it's really important to know that 
it's, you know, it doesn't matter what we think about the food. If we're not conscious about it, we can still go through those cycles of eating. The other day I had a, um, one of those like fake meat things, you know, um, you know, like the, the burgers or whatever it is, because I really needed something to eat. And like, that's just really quick. I cooked one up with some lots and lots and lots of veggies and yeah, it tasted great because that was just like the taste in my mouth because there's all those seasonings and everything. And I, you know, I'm, I make it taste good. I put a whole bunch of like, um, you know, pickled veg and fresh veg and raw veg and cooked veg and like there's just a lot in there. So the whole thing tasted really good. But I could feel like my body was like, yeah, that's not real food. Um, and I was like, yeah, you just need to do what you normally do, which is to make these things, freeze them yourself and then have your own food to turn to. It's a lot of work. And this is why people don't do it. This is what's really hard. But it's really interesting to see how this experiment has saved my mentality when things have gotten pretty rough. You know, they've just been exhausting and tiring and there's just a lot going on. And it's been nice to know that my body knows what's best and it might mean that I do have to take more time in preparing food for myself as self-care, but you know, the reward is worth it. The reward of just feeling as good as I do and being able to break through whatever it is I'm going through much faster because I have taken care of myself in some way. So yeah, classes got busy, things were really busy, but because I had good food lying around, because I was making good decisions for myself with the food and I created my own shortcuts for it, it was just, it's it saved me and I'm feeling so good today. And, um, you know, it was after a couple of days of fasting and then filling myself up with good food. I made my own dips. Like I made a butternut squash dip out of butternut squash and cashews and spices. And I wanted a snack and I went for that as a snack and it tasted so good. So I'm filling my gut with really good things. And as a result, my gut is rewarding me with good hormones, good behaviors. And, you know, it's helping me get back into my body in the way that I need. So that's where I am. It's been a couple of weeks since I last posted, but it's been wonderful and I'm so excited. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye.